A lot of people are very confused on this, but I can sit here under oath or any other way you want it, and I'm a staunch Catholic, I'll swear in the Bible, Michael is not gay, nor has he ever been gay. He's confided in me that certain women that he had uh, relationships with, uh, he wasn't public about any of it, because, you know, you don't want the fans to think you're tied down. They don't have that shot of getting to you. I went to his home, Neverland, and he pulled out all of the stops. He, he picked me up in a helicopter, and I got to the house, and he had a coach and buggy pick me up from the gate to his home. We were in the kitchen, and this is when he had bubbles, the monkey. I had taken off my shoes, and I felt this little nibble at my toe. And I thought Michael, I thought Michael was playing on my toe. I was like, oh, Michael, aren't you special? But it was bubbles sucking on my big toe. And I thought to myself, you better watch out. I'll take bubbles home. <laughs> Michael told me about being on the set of a movie and one of the leading ladies invited him to her room to watch a movie and I guess they were saying would be she jumped his bones. I know some of the stars that Michael had been with, I'll take that to my grave. When he married Lisa Marie Presley, it came out of nowhere and everybody thought it was a big joke, including me. I went on television and I cracked the joke that if anybody's interested in buying Michael and Lisa Maria a wedding present, they're registered at Toys R Us. On my way home, the phone rang and it was Michael. And he said, of all the people in my world, I would think that you would not belittle my relationship. And I said, well, you know, I feel really terrible right now about this, Michael, but you have to understand that this thing with Lisa Marie has come out of the clear blue sky. Nobody understands what's going on here. She's from Graceland, you're from Neverland. What is going on here? Uh, we did a very long interview in which he explained to me that he really felt very strongly about Lisa Marie Presley, that the marriage was a real marriage for him. And he said, and if you don't believe me, ask Lisa Marie. And so I did. I, I interviewed Lisa Marie several times. And I can tell you one thing about Lisa Marie Presley. She's tough. She tells the truth. She is in your face, honest. I believed her when she told me that that was a real marriage. It was a surprise to me. I had heard it on television, but he never told me. He called me. And I said, I've been hearing about you being married to Lisa Marie Price. He said, yes, that's why I called you. I wanted to tell you about it. And she's right here. You want to speak to her? And I spoke to her. Being raised in the South, she had that accent. She had a very deep voice also. And I told Michael, I said, Michael, that's not her. That's a black girl that I spoke to. <laughs> he was married to his career. And I don't think any woman could live with somebody and find that they play second and not first. Michael and Debbie Rowe was very different. Debbie Rowe and Michael Jackson were not in love. Debbie Rowe was somebody that would have been a surrogate mother to Michael's children had he had his way. Had he had his way, we would never even know her name. The problem was that Michael's own mom was so determined that Michael not have children out of wedlock that he, she really wanted Michael to marry Debbie. And Michael felt pressured also by the record industry and by his fans to sort of make an honest woman out of Debbie Rowe. And she would have done anything for Michael. Uh, she was a big fan of his. She had posters of him all over her apartment. She would have done anything for him. She never lived at Neverland. She never moved in to Neverland like Lisa Marie did. 
their marriage was a marriage in, you know, in name only so that she could have his children and then they divorced. Michael told me the reason he married Debbie Rowe was because he wanted to have a child and that she was just a really nice person to be around. It wasn't that he was so physically in love with her. It's that he liked that she was a great nurse and she understood him.